All right, 8.53 your time right now and that narrow band of rain we've been tracking all morning long is just slowly drifting to the north. Very strong high pressure that we've talked about all week long would influence where the remnants of Francine would go. Definitely influencing how far north this rain band is making it. Let's give you a quick radar tour across the states. Raining in Lawrenceburg and Harrodsburg and Danville and Stanford. Basically all of Garrett, all of Madison, all of Jessamine, Southern Fayette, Southern Clark County, Estill County, and over to Jackson and Rock Castle, all dealing with rain. Now we go farther into Southeast Kentucky, a scattering of some lighter showers near Hazard. That's likely just some light rain into portions of Leslie, portions of Clay, north of London, uh, a little bit of shower activity, but it's dry now in Somerset and Corbin and down at the Kentucky Tennessee state line. And then northeast of that, it's dry. Look at the last 24 hours. These rain gauges tell the story. Southern Fayette County, down by the Fayette Mall, two tenths of an inch, Spindle Top, Zippo. Okay, northeastern Fayette County, northeastern parts of Lexington, even no rain over toward Bryan Station, none. None in Carlisle, none in Moorhead, none also in Paris and Cynthia, and none in Georgetown. But an inch and a half in Stanford and 1.4 inches in Danville. That rain band has just set up shop. It eventually is going to rain itself out, though. Let me show you the setup. We're looking toward that rain in Southern Fayette County. It's raining outside of our studio here. You can see the drops on our camera lens there. But look at Paris, mostly cloudy. Zippo, still raining in Richmond, dry in Somerset. Um, it is just so narrow. This is why it's so hard on some tropical systems like this to tell everybody how you're going to be impacted by a narrow band that just sets up shop. 66 in town, 63 in London, uh, in Danville rather, 64 in London, 66 in Somerset. Here's the wide view of things. What's left of Francine is this low. All right, it's just a remnant low right now. Over time, it's going to get pushed to the south. Remember that big high pressure we've talked about all week? Guess what? It's winning out. We showed it to you on the radar. Northeastern parts of our area, no rain. And watch what happens. Yes, we could see a few more showers out there into the afternoon. Saturday may be an isolated shower too, but Sunday the high winds out, and that means a mostly dry weekend. We'll show it to you here. Some scattered showers today, maybe some isolated showers this evening. Into the weekend though, Sunday is trending much drier. Forecast for today. Showers, yes, they're out there. Narrow band, could see a few more scattered showers possible this afternoon. Upper 70s, low 80s. High school football games this evening. They are trending drier. I still have an isolated shower for or two in the forecast, but it is looking much drier than what this morning is. That's for sure. Isolated shower chance tonight, mostly cloudy. If you're going to Kroger Field tomorrow evening, that forecast has trended much much drier and we talked about it yesterday that the best rain chance was indeed going to be south and southwest of Lexington. And you know what? That's been the case mm -hmm. and that trend gets drier for the weekend. Oh, well,